Oh hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Kobe Scroby and welcome back to Oxenfree 2 Lost Signals. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me tonight. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy the stream, make sure you follow, turn on notifications, and if you'd like to support the channel, avoid watching ads, and you'd also be welcome to join my private satisfactory server. You can subscribe for $5 or you can subscribe for free by using a Twitch Prime. If you or someone you know has an Amazon Prime account, you can connect it to your Twitch account and you'll get one free Prime subscription per month. You could choose to use it here. Hey, that's free money, man. Use it here, use it somewhere. Use it on some streamer. Or, otherwise, you're going to be lucky and get gifted a sub. If you're watching later on YouTube, you can use the YouTube join button or the Patreon link in the description if you'd like to join the Satisfactory server. If you do any of those things, make sure you check the YouTube descriptions or pinned in the Twitch chat. There's a Discord link. Message me on there. I'll get you the server information, help get you logged in, and we'll schedule time to come play with you. I just played on it yesterday, uh, but if another day works better, let me know and we'll switch it up. So I thought I was going to finish this on t Tuesday. I think I played it, but I didn't quite get there. So we're, we're, we should finish it tonight. I'm going to finish it tonight. It's getting interesting. We we got all the transmitters set up. We closed the big triangle portal portal over Edwards Island, which is where the first game took place. But it seems as though the entities are still around. So I forget where we're going at the moment. Oh, we did a side quest last time where we had to switch the times that the portal would take us to portal would take us to. So we could take a picture of a guy from the past. Then we had to go all the way across the map, find a ghost shoe in a cave, and then go all the way back across the map to where we just were to put it in a lockbox to get the achievement for the side quest. So that took up a good half hour last time or else maybe I could have finished it, but maybe it's good. Maybe it set us up perfect for tonight. So let's get started, man. I love this game so much. The first Oxen Free is one of my favorite games of all time, and this one, I, it's been so many years since I played the first one, and I almost played the first one again before I played this one, but I wanted to get to this one as soon as possible. I think the first one is shorter, the map is definitely smaller. This one, just from what I remember of playing that one years ago, compared to this that I'm playing right now, I would have to say this one is just as good as the first one. If not better, I don't know, man. There were some parts in the first one that just put those goosebumps all the way down your entire body. The sound design and everything from the first one. I don't know. Maybe there were those moments in that first one just because I didn't expect it to happen. And then it started happening really caught me off guard. And I'm getting goosebumps like on my arms just thinking about it right now, which happens on this one, too. Don't get me wrong. The sound design is fantastic. Especially the voices of the entities, whatever you want to call them, the ghosts. Uh, but on the first one, I really wasn't expecting it. And when I came across my first portal, it freaked me out, man. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? So I would really need to play the first one again. But this one is, is great. I, I love this one, too. All right, let's get started. Definitely worth the money to me, for sure. Uh, I think this one was like $15. And hell, I've been playing it for four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, I'm going to be at it for nine or ten hours total. And hell, fifteen dollars. I paid fifty dollars for Resident Evil Village, and that one okay, took me. Here we are. Twelve hours. Home sweet something. So. There's a phone in the general store. Maybe one more break in for old times' sake, just to call you a ride. I'd give you a lift, but it's a five-minute walk, and my truck is still dead. All right, I think we did this so last if I time. Don't see you. Uh, wait. Hmm. Uh oh, where are you going? Uh, Jacob, where are you going? Yeah, we did this last time, and Jacob? this one runs off of autosave, so it takes us back a little bit if I don't quit in the perfect spot. What was I saying? I don't know. Let's keep going. Oh yeah, so Resident Evil Village, I paid fifty dollars for, it, and that I beat that in twelve hours. This one I paid 15 and it's going to take me 10 hours. Maybe it's 
slightly short. Usually, I don't know. I buy all kinds of games, indie games for 95 cents, indie games for $3, $6, $8, $10, $15, $20, $20, and then AAA games for $60. And I gotta say, the indie games, even though some of them, a lot of them are shorter, I feel like they're better quality games overall. I mean, the, the AAA games may, you know, be, have those amazing flashy graphics, but not all of them really hold up, you know? Oh, we were getting in the boat last time. That's what we were doing. And I think that I... I think that I exited the game because I knew it didn't save because I thought that I missed something. Maybe that's what it was. Anyway, we got to go over here and do this again. Hey, Zalen, what's going on? Went to... S hold on, hold on. Went to Subway and the worker started complaining I didn't tip and they... Did all this and that to the sandwich and then refused to give me a bag. Oh yeah, you gotta pay for the bag. I, I get that. You're not being paid under minimum wage. Actually, you get paid just over minimum wage. People are funny. I have never tipped anybody at Subway or McDonald's or anything like that. Not because I don't want to, because it's never crossed my mind. You know, you tip at restaurants and, and stuff like that. But as far as Subway, I've never even thought about that. And I don't, I don't know. They wouldn't give me a bag for not tipping. Well, I, to be fair, I don't know if it's like that. I think it's like that in the whole country. Everywhere you go, you got to pay for the bag now. Especially grocery stores. Jacob, hey, what are you doing, man? Oops, I'm pressing the wrong button. Did you get a little... Uh... Deja vu, just now. Um, wait, w was that? Oranges and lemons. <laughs> the bells of St. Clemens. See, it's so good. Here comes a candle <laughs> to light you to bed, and here comes a chopper to chop off your head. Wait, Alex, what are you doing? Oh, uh, wait, I. <laughs> Jacob, are you... is he okay? He's fine. He can even hear us, but he can't really respond right now. Whoa, he's doing but, the same look, thing. This isn't what I'm here for. Whoa. Back in Garland, when Jacob was affected in the time loop, that wasn't me. It was them. The Sunken. The crew of the USS Kanaloa. They've been using the half-open gate to pierce through timelines and talk to Olivia when I wasn't. I told her we were done, that this wouldn't work, that it shouldn't work, but she has a determination in her that the Sunken are taking advantage of. The Sunken? Those people that first got trapped between time? How are they back? What do they want? What anyone wants, what anything wants, what I wanted. To live, Riley, to come back to our timeline no matter what it breaks, and no matter who they have to take over to make it happen. They've convinced Olivia to go to Edwards Island and use the comm tower to open another portal. They're gonna consume everything and everyone they can to reconstitute themselves. Oh yeah, we're going to Edwards Island, that's right. The way I wanted to do it was a clean swap. This will be more like a hostile takeover. Everyone in Kamina is in danger, and you're the only one that can stop it from happening. You and Jacob. Okay, uh, ma'am. Uh, so wait, how do we stop them? By stopping Olivia. Okay. We're out of time here. Now, get a boat. I'll see you over there. I guess it was just... Wait. What happened? Was Alex here? She, 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 was, she was here, and, and she said the, the sunken are coming back? Is that... I didn't dream that yesterday, and I'm only just remembering it now, right? Yeah, the crew of the USS Canaloa wants out of purgatory. And apparently we're all in really deep trouble if we don't prevent them from popping out of a new portal Olivia's trying to open. So now, we need to get to Edwards Island before she inadvertently destroys our lives. We were so very close to being in our own respective beds. So close. So close. 
Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Okay. See, it's, it's so good with the scan lines and... Like, it's so, Something you know, tells me beautiful and peaceful right now. Is that right? It's I'm still a little foggy. So, uh, that doesn't leave a lot of options. Hey, you wouldn't be against us just a borrowing one from the docks for a few hours, right? I feel like this is worth the less than completely ethical way we're going to go about it. Yep, yep, say no more. I know what we have to do. There's it's so... always a few boats tied to the pier down here. And, you know, since we're going to Edwards Island, this is kind of it. Any loose threads? No, it's kind of the time. Yep, it says we're going to the end. Not that I'm stalling. Loose threads? Is there a loose thread I'm missing, Jacob? Hey, a lot of weird stuff happened tonight. And I'm just saying, if all goes well, this whole harrowing experience is done after we get on that boat. So anything you want to do before it's done, better do it now. Yeah, it's so beautiful and peaceful when we're going through the woods and up the hills and everything. And then when that happens, it's like, bam, it's so, uh, the like the design of it, the visual and the sound, it's just, it's, everything about it is perfect. Okay, sorry. Uh, not in my town. Uh, AFAIK, not in Arizona. But I could be wrong, but I know in my town, doesn't matter where I go, never pay for a bag. Oh, okay. I did not know that. America is the only country that expects everyone else to pay their employees. Yeah, that's why, too. And, and that's why you tip your server and stuff at restaurants because the people working at Subway are making at least minimum wage. And I don't know what it is where you live, but here in Colorado, it's somewhere between 13 and 15 an hour, which still sucks. Um, but they're still making that servers at restaurants and bars are only making like $2 an hour. And they're, they make their living off of the tips and that shouldn't be legal. Like, I don't understand why in America, how they can get away with paying them so much less than minimum wage and expecting them to make their money off of other people's generosity. I, w I would love to tip a whole bunch every time, but I don't, you know, the like when Laura and I went out for our anniversary, we went to this pretty nice Italian restaurant we've never been to before. And I think it was like close to a hundred bucks just for our food and our, we got some wine. And then you got to pay tip on that. 20% of a hundred dollars is $20. So that cost me $120, you know, and $20 to me is, is, is quite a bit, but $20 that that person is making for the hour or, you know, two or whatever they spend on us isn't shit, you know, I mean, they got other tables at the same time, but it's, it's bullshit. And I don't know how, I don't know how employers of restaurants and stuff get away with paying their employees so crappy. I'm sure it's, and I know it's illegal somehow. I just don't know how. What's going on? It's not dishonest. Like the $2 thing. Um, first I was talking about bags. You got to pay for bags here in Colorado. They're 10 cents a bag in any store I've been in. They don't give you a bag anywhere anymore. And it said something in a store I went into that it, it said it was, uh, federally or I thought it was the whole country, but that might not be true. And then also I was talking about, I don't, I've never thought to tip a fast food restaurant employee, but we do tip servers because somehow they get away with paying them like two or $3 an hour and they have to make their living on tips. But Zalen was saying that the subway employee was mad at him and didn't give him a bag because he didn't give him a tip. And I was saying, I, I, it never even crossed my mind. Just like, if you go to a fast food, they tell you how much it is you pay them. I don't even know if they're allowed to take tips, you know? Like, if, if they saw on the camera that they were taking tips, they might actually get in trouble for that. <laughs> uh, anyway. We're going to Edwards Island. Okay, so here's not exactly chock-a-block, but one of these should do. I want to take the big boat. I wanted to see if it would let me, and it doesn't appear as though it will let me. Oh, wait. This looks, I don't know. 
it would get us there fast, but the controls look pretty advanced. Do you know how to drive it? Uh, nope. I'd be worried about crashing into high water rocks. Let's find something simpler. Okay, now that I'm looking at this ferry, on the first game, they're coming to the island on a ferry like this, and they're all sitting in those benches. I think this is a reference from the first game, and I never even thought about it till right now. Ah, oh, man, I gotta play the first game, but there's so many... Like, tomorrow I want to start Killer Frequency, which I will. Um, I gotta finish The Last of Us. Uh, I've downloaded New Dawn, like, a month or two ago, planning on playing it, and I never did. I, I have so many games installed on this computer that I'm like, oh, I'm gonna play that soon, and then <laughs> I never get to it. Employees could take home 20% of each table... They prepare food for so a hundred dollars would be twenty dollars they could take home per table so they don't even get an hourly rate they get 20 percent of the table plus the tip so they're they're basically working for free plus 20 percent of their tables plus relying on the generosity of the people that they are serving all right, let's look. I didn't even see this one. Want to use this? I, I, I do not, and neither do you. <laughs> Edwards is way too far out. This would take light years. The we need something with a little more uh, seahorse power. The the voice acting in this is so good too, because he didn't just say no, I don't. He he replied in like a natural way you would when you're trying to think of what to say, and it kind of stuttered like, oh, I, I, I do not, and you don't either. <laughs> And there is just like some subtle jokes in there, like seahorse power. <laughs> this is a suggestion of mine. Oh, yeah, yeah. So they don't even get that. They get like, what, $3 an hour plus tips right now. This looks fine. Yeah, here to there is all we need. It's Ava's. She runs a bait shop. She always tries to get me to go with her to field test new products. I guess so she could feel less guilty about fishing on the clock. Dude, she was totally flirting with you. I mean, clearly she had t-ball level game, but still, that's a proper flirt. Hey, Jake, let's go skewer some worms. That's when I knew we were meant to be. It's padlocked to the dock, and we need the key to start the thing. But I bet all the coins in my pocket that the key's in the shop. And knowing Ava, the door's probably unlocked. No one's exactly itching to steal leeches and wheelworms, so... Okay, so we need a code for the lock and a key for the boat. And hopefully some calm water after that. Come on. So it's even worse. Let's say, let's just give them the benefit of the doubt and say that they make $5 an hour. If they worked ten a 10 hour shift, they'd make $50 plus whatever tips are. Oh, this shop? Oh, I think I'm going to the wrong shop. It's, it's so bullshit, man. I don't know why anybody does it. Oh, the worm's place. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Knew it. No one secures their damn doors on this town. Tomorrow I'm convinced. At least you remember to lock this. I'll stay out here and keep watch. If we're in trouble, I'll uh, whistle or something. 7 Eleven is highlighted. Huh. Okay. MB? Per table, 20% of all the tables they serve in a day, sometimes up to $1,000, and then they're paid on top every two weeks, depending on how much business that restaurant gets. That's what they that's what they get now, or that's what what you were saying? I mean, that sounds good. I mean, 20% of each table? How many tables? I don't even, I have no idea. How many tables do they do per night? Like... Uh, I have no idea. I'd just be throwing a number out there. Like, let's say 20 tables. <clears throat> and then each table. It, I mean, if it's like that Italian restaurant we went to, I, I could say each table would be probably close to $100. 20 tables times $20 per table. Is four hundred dollars. <throat> I mean, four hundred dollars. 
divided by eight hours, that's $50. Fifty dollars an hour. See, that would be great. That'd be that'd be that'd be a good idea. But restaurant owners aren't going to go for it. You know why? They're capitalists. Oh, sale on night crawlers. Me without my checkbook. Three fifteen is pretty good, right? I have no idea what I'm saying. No one's going to do anything that's good for their employees that is going to take out of their profits. It's so four hundred dollars is split among the staff as well. Oh, not just the server for everybody. Well, there's probably more than twenty tables. I was just pulling a number out. Maybe it could be twenty percent of the table split between the server and the cook, or maybe the cook gets paid. So much percentage per meal, you know, like if the meal that he made for that table's fifteen dollars, twenty dollars, then he'll get four dollars. That sounds not good. I don't know. But you're saying what? What's your father do? Like per night, like eighty meals a night or something? Some places make big tips. Yeah, some some places make big tips. Yeah. So some servers make bank, but they also bust their ass and don't get paid what they're worth from the actual restaurant. Some places have hundreds of tables a day. Yeah. Yeah. There's people coming in and out. How long do people normally stay? An hour, hour and a half. Two hours would probably be a long time if they had like a big party or something, but then you'd make more off of that table. Too many variables. <laughs> okay, seriously, woman, are you trying to get your boat stolen? Eh, whatever. Gift the horse, mouth, etc. I think all that leaves is the code for the lock so I can untie the boat. All right, what is a gift horse? <laughs> I hate these weird sayings that people just say and they don't know what, what they mean. Um, or, yeah. So this lady left her door unlocked and the key hanging up right there. Ah, happy birthday, Marco. <laughs> that is a lot of chocolate cake. Oops. Wait, All right. MB. Marco's, Marco's birthday? birthday. 7 Eleven. That's Will's birthday. That 7 Eleven was on the calendar. Did she write it on the map? Found a bone, but it's padlocked and no starter key. Well, if I didn't remember it was 7 Eleven, how were we supposed to remember that? Maybe she's going to do it automatically. Father cooks up to 200 dinners sometimes and tips rack up to nearly 2,000. Holy crap. Yeah, so I get why people do it because sometimes you can make bank. The same, same, the same reason that people in the automotive business work what's called flat rate. Like repair shops and body shops. The way this works is a car come in, comes in and it needs something either painted or something replaced, right? And the the book says that it should take you an hour to do this. Um, and so you get paid, you flag one hour to do it, or you pay you get paid for one hour. No matter if it takes you ten minutes or if it takes you ten hours, you still get paid one hour. So like if you get a car in that takes like if you get ten cars in. And it should take you five hours on each one of those cars, and you can do each one in five in, in one hour. Uh, you still get paid five hours, five, ten, fifteen, what did I say, ten cars? Five ten cars. So you get paid for five hundred hours or fifty hours, sorry. But you only worked five hours. But if it takes you ten hours on those five cars, you still only get paid um for what the book time was. So you can make bank, but you got to bust your ass and I don't want to do that. That's why I don't work in those places. <laughs> he gets about $30 in tips. The waiters and waitresses get most of it. They all drive really expensive cars and get a new car every two years. <laughs> the newest car that I've ever owned is a 2012, which is 11 years old. Like my car's a 2012. The car before I had it was a 2012. Uh, 
and I can't, I mean, I only, I pay like 350 a month in a car payment and also like 250 a month in insurance. Well, that's for my truck too. Um, but I can't justify paying more than that per month on a payment for a car. I worked with guys at Furniture Row at the race shop that were buying these new trucks and stuff that they were paying like $1,200 a month or more for the payment. Like how the hell, how much do you make? Because I don't make that much here. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Anyway, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a cheapskate, but I, I don't, I don't even want to pay 350 a month. My, my car that I had two cars ago, I was paying 200 a month or it was like 199 and that was beautiful. I loved it. But it needed a new transmission, which was worth more than the car was. <laughs> it cost me more to put the new transmission in than it would, than I would get from just selling the car with or without the new transmission. So I traded it in. <sighs> did, did you hear that? A dog? Oh, didn't he? He lost his dog. Athena? Athena! Hey, Doug. Oh, Athena, you freaking knucklehead. Oh, I'm going to kill you. Oh, my God, I was so worried. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Man, Jacob, I bet you're happy. Uh, you have no idea. She seems all right. Oh. Is it okay if I pet her? Oh, let's find out. Athena, can Riley pet you? Athena, speak. That means yes. You know how many TV remotes this mud has obliterated? <laughs> uh, Athena, I swear to Vishnu, I'm getting you a bell. A very large bell that you can hear from Wisconsin. No more running off. Actually, that won't be a problem because of the bell. Athena, speak. Oh, she is the chattiest of Kathy's, believe me. Oh, man, this is... <laughs> Sorry. I'm uh, not usually like this, you know, but uh, it's been a long night. She's my home, you know? She's my home. It's just... It's nice to feel relieved. For once. It's okay, Jacob. It's all right. All right, come on, girl. Wait, there was an audio... Or there was a dialogue option in there that was like, where has she been? I thought maybe when I pet her, I would find something on her that was like a clue. Because I want to know where the dog's been and check it out. The waiters and waitresses, three waitresses splitting 17 or 1970 is BS. Forgot the last waiter quit. So that's 1970 between three people per per night or per how long? Or is that per week? I'll be right back. Like, right the hell back. So don't you wiggle away. You hear me? Be my good girl. Stay here. Sound good? Speak. <laughs> Sounds good. I have to do this thing. It's an opportunity to do something important. And, uh, if I don't make it back, it's not because I didn't try. The one in town will take you in. They all know you. You'll, uh, you'll be okay. Okay. Wait, he's just going to okay. tie her up and leave I'm her ready. there? Why don't we take her home? It's going to take like one minute to get there. Or take her with you. I got an achievement for petting the dog, too. It was called Who Could Resist. I wonder if I'll get another one for petting it a whole bunch of times. So that's tips on one or tips on a good night. And there's three, so it's 1970 divided by three. And if you divide that by what, eight hours? And that's $82 an hour. That's not bad, if that's all correct. How many times should I pet the dog?
Or is that three waiters and the cook? Alright, I guess I'm not going to get an achievement for petting the dog again. Dog petting simulator. Bye, dog. 7-Eleven? You think you know the code? 7 one, one. Ta da Hey, nice work. Okie doke. After you. Ladies first. Alright, so... Ooh, um... Yeah, after you. <laughs> so it gave me three choices, and I would imagine. Uh, it, come on, get on. If I if I would have gotten it wrong. Oh no no no! After you. Then well, I probably would have been able to try again until I got it. Protocol, I dig it. I'm driving. Watch out! Watch out! I used to uh, pride myself on owning the very first issue of TV Guide. <laughs> what? It has a the I Love Lucy baby on the cover. For months, it was my only goal to get it. That's weird. I'm mentioning this because this is probably like the greatest thing I'm gonna do in my life. Helping you fix all this. There's no topping that. Like what would? Running an ultra marathon? Yeah, me neither, dude. But hey, at least we're aware of it. That's something. Ah, but how much of something? That's the tricky bit. It gets old being a fix-it man. Your job is to look at something broken. A lifetime of staring at failure. <laughs> and hopefully fixing it, but often not. There's honor in fixing things for people. You could say that's a noble profession. I'm not saying it's not. I'm saying it's complicated. It's just this is gonna be it. This is the apex of my accomplishment. Another fix it job. Bigger job, more important job, sure, but a fix it job still. I don't know. It just would have been nice if the number one spot was taken by something I created. Maybe that's selfish? I don't know. Still true. No, that's not selfish. That makes sense. I think we'd all like to be remembered for something more than she loved to laugh or some crap like that. If we're remembered at all. Maybe this is the night it all turns around. As he sailed away from the silent city, socks still uncomfortably damp, Jacob Summers decided he'd fixed enough. After tonight, the only thing he would try to fix is himself. <laughs> How stupid does that sound, right? <laughs> yeah. In an authentic and genuinely not sarcastic or smoke-blowing way, the beautiful, mysterious, well-dressed, and modest Riley Poverly told him, I believe in you, Jacob Summers. Thanks. All right, let me read this. By the way, um, you guys are fine, but I heard today... That chat that's been showing on the screen on YouTube videos is getting demonetized for stuff that the chat is saying. But I don't think anything you guys are saying is going to cause that. But just kind of keep that in mind not to like use any racial s slurs or homophobic slurs or tran uh, uh, trans, you know, anything bad. Uh, not that I think you guys are going to, but just to bring it up. Uh, let's see. Where did I leave off here? <clears throat> Talking about the inequality that happens at my father's work based on tips here in California. Everyone gets paid 15 an hour. 
They tip the busser 60, the dishwasher 30, the cook 30. I don't care about the bartender, or don't know, I don't care. I don't know about the bartender. And the waitresses split the rest. The busser gets 60? Why does the busser get sick? get more than the cook? If anything, I would think the cook would get the most. The busser and the dishwasher should get thir 30. And the waitresses just make off with the rest of the money? 15 at least. But, so, they give the busser $60, the dishwasher $30, and the cook $30, and the waitresses take the rest of the money? Hold on. So that's 19, let's just call it 2000 Minus 60, minus 30, and 30 is 60. And then divide that by the three waitresses. So they get 600 in tips, and everyone else just gets $30 or $60? Or is that percent? And also, the cook should get more, because he's the front of the house, according to them. I mean, the bus boy is usually just like, you know, some kid that can't be a waiter or a cook, but he can pick up the plates off the table and bring them to the dishwasher, you know? <laughs> Wow. Okay. I'm sure at least, have. at least they get fifteen dollars an hour, and not you know, five. I mean, fifteen dollars an hour sucks, but at least they're not ripping them off as much as other places. Other things on your mind. It sounds like. This. Anyways. Oh, almost there. But first. <laughs> For luck. Like when we cross the bridge, you know? For luck. I think they should take the money and then give the cook probably the higher percentage and the waiters and then the dishwasher and busboy would get a lower percentage. I don't think they should make off with $600 each, you know. Uh, that sounds like something that they need to take care of internally, right? Because there's no, there's probably not a policy that says that the wait staff gets to take all the money, you know. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I see Olivia's boat. It's not fair, though. Actually, yeah, why am I surprised by that? You probably just ran the thing aground somewhere and hobbled out. Hey, Maybe we're we'll have some time to catch up to her. Come on. 5 a.m. We're back on Edwards, Edwards, Edwards Island. Island. It's been a while. Did you come here often? When you were younger, I mean? Oh, sure. During the summer, all the time. It wasn't really a family tradition, but something my brother and I went to when we got bored. I think I remember how to get to the old communications tower. Richard Harden Tower? Ooh. Dick Harden? <laughs> Dick Harden? <laughs> Just head for the stairs. Where my father works, the waitresses make loads, although I do know what other restaurants do. Yeah. I mean, I guess at least they can give them credit for paying a minimum wage. Where they probably don't have to. God, all this kitschy bullcrap. I hated it as a kid when I was here. It still raises the hair on the back of my neck. Oh, I loved how cheesy everything was here as a kid. It's still, you know, it's a, a little bit warming to, to see it. I, I don't know. God, this place, even like 10 years ago, this was like it, you know? But also, it sounds like the way the tips get split between the staff, it sounds like that's up to them and that they need to work that out. Uh, the wait staff's not going to be happy about it, but I, I think it should be split basically even between the wait staff, the cook, Maybe the bartender and dishwasher and busboy would get less, but what do I know? <laughs> hey, you come here the week. You think Olivia could have gone down this road? Under the tunnel? No, that only goes to more woods. And I think she's headed for the tower. But anyways, I was just saying this place was a the party spot when I was in school. 
Not that I did too much of that stuff. But I knew about it. Hey, I wish we could do that now. You bring the beer and pipe, I'll bring the hilarious anecdotes. I can run back. Always time for a cack run. Yeah, take the skiff. Olivia can wait. Sure thing. I didn't know they allowed cars here. If you work here, yeah. Some people tow them on the ferry. This has been here forever, though. Where's the car gonna go? Down the tunnel? This island's not that big. Also, we should check this. You guys excited for Killer Frequency tomorrow? I'm super excited. I've been wanting to play that since the first time I saw it. And then also Outlast Trials, I think. They would all be making 285 on those nights. That sounds more f fair. I mean, I could see them splitting it, cook, wait staff, maybe bartender evenly, and then maybe giving the dishwasher and busboy the rest. So, like, if we take 2,000 divided by 5, ooh, wait, did I do that right? Oh, I did 200. I was like, why is that so low? 2,000 divided by 5. Er, uh, 400... And then maybe the dishwasher and busboy get 100. So if we do, if we take 200 off of that divided by five, I mean, that's still divided by eight hours. That's $45 an hour. That's not bad. You know, I don't know. I think they should, they should work it out a little better. If it were equal and they weren't greedy. Yeah. Include the buster and dishwasher. Yeah, if they split it evenly. I mean, I could see him giving the dishwasher and buster less. Just because it's less skilled. I mean, look at that video of your dad cooking. I mean, you gotta be skilled for that. The waitstaff has to be skilled. The bartender has to be skilled. They All these people, they have to know... All these people have to need to know what they're doing. You don't need to know what you're doing to clear off tables and wash dishes as much. Nothing? Nothing. Waitre three waitress, one bartender, one buster, one dishwasher, one cook. Let's try this. Nothing? All right. Dishwasher deserves much more at this restaurant. There's a lot to do. I mean, that... I Even if they split it evenly, that'd still be way more than they're making now. Or if they gave 100 bucks to the dishwasher and busser and split it between the rest of them, that'd still be more than 30. Why does, it, why does the busser get the most? <laughs> That's weird. This is... What's the significance of this again? It's the propeller from the USS Kanaloa. The mm. only part of it recovered. Now, I just can't believe that those people, the, the, the Kanaloa's crew, are the ones now trying to come back through Olivia. Maggie already hated that they put this up. No, Jacob, this is all completely... When people find my journal in a thousand years, they'll think I'm the world's most fanciful idiot. Or they'll already have taught this all in history class. You never know. I 
think I knew someone's older brother who used to work here years ago, you know, back in high school. Yeah, it was like a rite of passage, I think somebody told me once. Everyone has to work at Edwards Island when they're 15, or else your childhood doesn't count. Four by four space, about 36 plus dishes at a time coming in. You gotta work the fryer sometimes. Oh, right, the buster mainly picks up plates. Yeah, all they do is pick up all the dirty stuff and bring it to the dishwasher, right? <laughs> Maybe they set the table too, I don't know. Oh! Oh, man, that's weird. Things on the island seem a little different since I last came for brunch. Where's Olivia? Do you see her? Okay. Fire! Anne's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Do they know we're Other here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. I don't know if they can, like, see us, but... Fire! Anne's great equalizer. Hey, wait, Alex! Oh, Alex is here. Just like getting our feet wet, so what is the, uh, what's the, like... Uh, don't worry. I don't know you're here. Yeah. They're yeah. echoes yeah. stuck between time. My friends and me. Olivia's opening the portal already, or will, or has. The, the timelines are converging. Trying to get us there, but the jumps are erratic. We'll glitch again soon. Just wait a second. I don't understand. What happened to you? We just got stuck. Like the crewmen of the Canaloa, like Maggie was, in her own way. So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? Pretty goddamn weird, Jonas. You know, in the moments after you drop a glass bottle or lose your keys or trip, and you just keep replaying the minutes right before it happened over and over. Why didn't I just not do that? Why, why didn't I just... Why didn't I drown instead of my brother? It would have fixed a lot of things. Alex, your friends here, they wouldn't want that. For you or for them. You're not what went wrong. A military test went wrong, and you got caught in it. So did you. I've been thinking. In all the times I've tried this, and in all the times you've stopped me, you never came here. You never came to the island. And I don't know what that means. Oh. Wait. I... We're going to see Olivia now. Whoa. I know this looks bad. It looks bad because it is, but we still have time. Follow me up. So, yeah, this is the island that the first game took place on. Uh, yeah, and uh, it was it was awesome. I, man, I almost I should have played that one first just because it's been so long. I really thought about it. I had to wash the, be the dishwasher one night there, which is how I know it's a lot. The busser can also intentionally sabotage the dishwasher if they wanted to. It happened all six years my brother worked there. He'd walk in and flip the plates into the bin. My brother had to clean out the bin and wash it. Oh, he'd f like take the plates with the food and put them in there upside down so that... Oh, come on, guy. I mean, I bet that's pretty nasty, too, being the dishwasher. Yeah, I could see that. I'm gonna try and convince Olivia before it's too late. Can I go this way? Nope. Can I call anybody now? Is there any hidden? Nope. It's the only way I can go. Watch it! Oh! We're running oh. out of time, kids! We're coming oh, up to final boss Christ. here. Thank God I didn't bring this If I fall to my death, please adopt her. Olivia's on the roof. Oh, the portal's here. Come on. We have to hurry. I'm hurrying. Oh man, here we go. She's way up there on the top. Is this up? Yeah. Oh, oh no. No, 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 it shouldn't be this. 
If you ever see green lightning, it's probably bad. I can do this. I can do this. Stay there. Don't come near me. It's already done. You're too late. Olivia, come on, honey, just just back away. Olivia! I know what you think is going to happen, but it won't. Not like this. You quit. You said you said you could Oh god, are we too late? Okay. Oh. Wait! Please! You don't have to do it this way! How is this anything different than what you and all of your infantile yearning tried? I know! I, I want it out! I still do! But this! this don't won't. do this! We, we we can help you! Maybe we can- Maybe you can what? Stall until we forget? Until our minds have totally succumbed to the time? They got me. Everything. Brother also had to fix toilets and clean up the toilet mess. Drunk people would use paper towels instead of toilet paper. 16 days. 16 days till I could try chocolate again? Why is that? Did I lose? Wait. I was just at the calm tower. Did I lose? Where's the dog? Wait, I gotta go this way first. It's the collectible in me. Why couldn't you have chocolate? Went on a stricter diet and chocolate and all other sugary food I had to cut out. Well, that's good. Sugar is bad. Have Saturday off. Aww. How do we? How do I get out of here? I don't even know if this is a, a place or the forest. It's the town. It's the trees. Come on, it's not over yet. Did you get it wrong or did they schedule you for an extra day? Sleepy time, gal. <laughs> is this Whoa. the home you're trying to get back to? What is there to escape to? I wish you guys could see this as big as I am. So I'm looking at it on my phone. It looks super tiny. Alex! Alex, are you But my are you TV's here? bigger. Oh crap. Oh, lamp. This light is a little is there like a like a hum to it? The radio's buzzing a bit. Ooh.
Found you. Mouse pad melted to your desk. <laughs> well, I'm in control of the AC right now. I'm going to open the windows when I get done. I'm at the comm tower again? Oh, it appears as though I'm at a different time. There's still question marks here. I bet there's ones I didn't even find. Echo Tango. Repeat. Echo Tango. I'm on my lunch break. Okay. Talk to Colonel Shear if this is important. I'm I'm sorry, but are you Maggie Adler? This is am I in Fort Milner? Fort Milner? No. I don't believe you are. I don't believe I'm the Maggie Adler my mother once knew. But don't worry. You'll be gone soon anyway. Just like me. Like we all are. If you're not Maggie, who are you then? A figment. A comic strip thought balloon. A particle of someone you think you know. The dead don't change. They can't. Just like you and me. I'll always be here. And you'll always be in your little apartment, wishing things were different. If a caterpillar is a butterfly unblossomed, you are a corpse not yet cold. Not yet! I am not dead yet! There's still time. I still have time to fight them off. I know they're still- Like how I fought? Against the eclipse? Against death? Nothing fights like time, child. And the sunken are as time itself. Stop fighting. Your grist for souls will use your sunburns. Completely. Just oh, keep moving. I scraped the desk when I got off work and flip it around. Please don't be. You don't have to sound so disappointed. I wasn't going to ever become a. I wasn't going to go up the ranks or whatever. It was just to avoid college for a while. Oh. Keep going, keep moving. I'm sorry, I thought you'd understand. I'm not breaking up with you because, no, it's not because of that. Last night was fine, it's just, I'm not in a good space for someone in my life right now. It, it's not. I shut my life off. Hey, anyone know this girl? Oh, we saw this before. No, I'm sick of dealing with her crap. Just try and have a drink. Oh, shit. Damn it. Uh, that one was fast. The light's red, so I'm doing this again. Stop messing with my mind, damn it. There it is. Oh, looks like I gotta climb. Let's look around first. I didn't get all the collectibles. Enough with the mind games already. Well, while I'm climbing, if you would like to support the channel, no longer see any ads, 
Also, you'd be able to join my private satisfactory server and come play with us, which I just played on yesterday. You can subscribe for $5 or for free if you use a Twitch Prime. If you or someone you know has an Amazon Prime account, you can connect it to your Twitch account. You get one free Prime subscription per month. You can choose to use it here. Otherwise, you got to be lucky and get gifted a sub. Also, Amazon Prime accounts have a month free trial. So you could get one. You could come over here and you could use the Prime. Anyway, uh, here's a th I'm going to run a three-minute ad break because that will shut off pre-roll ads for an hour. Here's the ad break now. And uh, Dishonest, you got a video to watch? You got a TikTok or something to watch while the ad's going on so that uh, nobody misses any story? Oh, also, I got to tell you something that happened when I was driving the other day, too, but I guess I could tell you now. So I was sitting at a stoplight, and I was just sitting there. I had my phone going. I was listening to a story, and all of a sudden... I heard a knocking that sounded like it was on my window. It was like, so I instantly, I'm looking in my mirrors. I don't see anybody. I turn around and look behind me. There's nobody there. And I could have swore someone ran up to my car and was knocking on the back window. There was nobody around. There were cars behind me, but nobody was getting back in their car or anything. So that kind of freaked me out, but then I thought, well, maybe it was a car going by the other way and the exhaust was just popping, like pop, 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 pop. But did I tell you guys, oh, I told you guys yesterday about the story I listened to about the black eyed children that always knock on your car window or your door and they're asking for permission. They need your permission to come in. It's, it's, it's crazy that that happened to me. And then I listened to that story the next day. So maybe a uh, black eyed children, you know what? Let me see if I can find a, a picture. I wish we could listen to the whole, yeah, the whole video that I heard about it. It's just like kids that have completely black eyes. Oh, she used this in the video. Yeah, this was the one that I that I watched, I think. Anyway, that's the true crime girl that I listened to. All right, 30 seconds and the ad will be over. And we can continue on our way. I still don't have any gummy worms. <laughs> Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back, ad people. <laughs> uh, what's up, guy? Wouldn't you know it. You show up, fish clear out. Not like you should expect this to go any better, I guess. Or maybe I'm just bad luck. What, uh, what bait are you using? Ugh, oh, a worm and a prayer. That's what I'm using. They didn't have a bunch of, uh, fitty bits of plastic in the Dark Ages, so why should I, right? Because it works better. Like that once. Is that my dad? You recognize me, right? Might be my dad. Do you know who I am? You, do you know who I am? I sure do. You're the woman who thought it'd be a great idea to name you Rex. Second grade was a real treat, let me tell you. Maybe it's You're not a her dad. Away from home, Riley. 
You've been a long way from home for a while now, to tell you the truth. And I know you wanted to change some things when you heard I was coming. Get your life in order. You know, exercise five days a week, stuff like that. How's it going so far? Making your bed every day? Cooking your own dinners? Or have recent events sort of gotten in the way of all that? Uh, I think you can tell how it's going, Rex. I'm getting taken over by vengeful spirits just because I answered an ad for a job. It's going to complete crap. Like most things I try to do. Like most things you try to do. Yeah. Here's the thing about that. I'm one of those things. And I think I turned out pretty okay. I wash my clothes twice a month and everything. I... I don't even know you. You're... I know what you mean to me. I can feel what you mean, but... I don't know you. Not really. It's true. I do have the slight advantage. Riley, I know you think you effed up here, and that you failed, and that the whole town is going to get eaten by ghosts, but... You haven't yet. They haven't yet. But they will unless you snap the hell out of it right now. For my sake. How? You don't think I'm trying? I'm stuck here. You've been stuck before. You've been stuck for years. Mom, I think you've let a lot of anger keep you stapled to the carpet. That's her son? You used to make me say I was sorry even when I wasn't. Remember that? Well, it's time for you to do something you're not quite ready for, too. Look, the Sunken and Alex and all of her friends have been in a void, just like you. Unlike you, though, they want to get out of it. How many years did you drain away on the couch, in bars, doing nothing, wanting nothing? Wanting to shrivel into dirt, crumble to dust, and go out like you came in? Quietly. You have no idea how hard I've tried to change for you. The instant the little stick thing turned blue, the instant I knew you were on your way. Pregnancy the test. The second I knew I had to live up to, to, to you. To be something for you. Yeah, Mom. You looked in the want ads and sublet your apartment. I know. You tell me often. And don't say... I know you like to be stoic. There isn't any more time to kill. You're not that young anymore, and today is... Today. It ain't tomorrow. It's so this 5 is the opposite of what you're going to try and teach me, by the way. That's her future son? Tried to be a good mom. For everything. Hey, you said yourself you turned out okay. That's... that must mean something. I did, but you're missing the point. That's your future son. He's I'm not even fishing, born yet. See? Fishing, that's because of you. I cook my eggs how I do because you cook your eggs that way. I wear jackets all the time, even when I'm dying of heat. I don't floss. I buy too many socks. All the utterly horrible guidance made me who I am today, and I like who I am. But you just don't take your own damn advice, Mom. You never do. You never did. So, I'm here now to make you take your own advice. Do something. Do Be something. something. Just make a choice and stick with it. Even if that choice doesn't take you exactly where you expected it to. How, Rex? How exactly am I supposed to do that here? It's easy. Well, it's not easy, but it's easy to start. Admit to yourself, to me, to the void, that eternity doing nothing isn't for you. Wait, so I just say this and no, I... No, Riley, you have to say it. And mean it. Come on. It's not what I want. It's not enough. And what do you really want? I want... I, I want to just... to see you in real life. Even if it's not gonna be what I hope it can be. Uh, yes. Yes, you do. I but blinked right when that happened. I think this was my stop. I never did get used to the guys. It's just one. Not really. Oh, and I'll see you at Christmas. I pop out a little early. Wait! I pop out a little early. Riley! And we're back! Riley, can you hear me? Riley! Are you, uh, are, are you, you again? Your eyes stopped glowing. Jacob! Oh, you, you weren't taken over by them. 
Thank God. Onto something. Wild Reef Cream Oil presents the. Uh, Riley? Naval submarine sank in the. Enemy has fallen! It sucked. Uh, Olivia in. God save our souls. Trump wins in 2024. His plans are to make America more like an autocracy. Okay. Uh, Alex, is this a what's, good what's thing? What's that mean exactly? That's happening right now. Dishonest. I think. Yes, I think this is it. Uh, what's it? <gasps> oh, Olivia. Olivia. Jesus. Oh my god, Olivia, are you... is she okay? I'm still here. Olivia, Sunken can't help you. You couldn't help me! You quit! We could have had everything we wanted if you just kept to the plan! The Cantaloa crewmen would have... I know! I know. I thought they would help me. But in the end... I know what you wanted, Olivia. I understand. But you just can't cheat death like this. I'm sorry. Whatever. We're not done yet. We're still between things. We've pushed back the sunken and systemized the portal. And that's good. That's what we want. But someone still has to lock it from the other side. Oh, oh, someone's got to go in. Myself? Many years ago. So, are you like free now or something? Not so fast. Someone has to tune the portal from within the time stream. Or it will never close. And consume us all. What are you talking about? Whoever closes this portal must remain in the portal. So, were you lying? You said Olivia could see her parents again. I wasn't lying. <laughs> On the other side of this portal, you'll be between spaces because of how the sunken and me and my friends entered we didn't have the choice we became stuck in the moment of our accident but it can be a gift olivia you can be with your parents again forever but it's not real it was real but you'd also be trapped in that space of time for eternity like you are i understand this isn't for everyone but I have a feeling it's for someone. And Riley, 
You should know because it matters for this. Rex and you, it doesn't end well. I've seen a lot of versions of uh -oh. while waiting and looking, and you guys are gonna have a lot of good days. I mean, years of them. Just someday, the two of you will hit a wall too tall to climb and too long to walk around. And I know you know exactly the kind of situation I'm talking about, don't you? What situation? What are you even talking about? Like me and my dad. Yeah, like you and your dad. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but I'm the only one that can. I built that antenna. I built that antenna. I studied the websites. I called the experts. I, I stole countless books from the library. I, I communed with you when no one else could. I am the goddamn hero of this goddamn story, and I am going into that portal! And I don't care if you don't understand. It's what I need to do. Olivia, nothing can bring your parents back. Not this thing, not anything. I'm sorry. I know you're sorry, I know you are, but... My parents. You have no idea what they meant to me. And I am not giving up the chance to be with them again. You chose me for a reason. I did. Your future is cloudy and uncertain, and you wanted this so badly. I thought I could live with myself if we switched. But oh. maybe that was just mania acting for me. No, you didn't talk yourself into this. What you so, okay. This is interesting. Oh, also, a uh, country, state, or society governed by one person with absolute power? Like a dictatorship? Like, like, like somebody from Germany back in the day? Um, this is interesting. In Kolok, there's this thing called the Black Rock. And it's like a prison of doubt. Um, and to get somebody out, somebody has to go in. There has to be an equal exchange of, of energy. So this is kind of, seems like this, like Olivia is going to go in and then Alex is going to get to come out. You have to exchange, uh, everything comes at a cost. Uh, energy has to be exchanged equally. You mean her future's cloudy? Honestly, Riley, I can't put it any other way. Well, it's Riley's decision. Who goes in? Hi! She has the radio, and it was always going to be like this. Always. Oh, Riley, no. you have a kid on the way. You really want to be stuck in a past moment forever? I want this! Quiet. Let her think. Choose Jacob, choose Olivia, choose myself. Riley, just give me the radio, okay? Just give me the radio. And walk away. Done. Olivia. Okay, let's think about this. Uh, Olivia wants to go, right? But I have to give her the radio and she has to go through and we have to trust her to do it. This whole time she's been trying to open these portals. What if I give her the radio and she goes in there and either doesn't close it or opens it more? I could trust myself to do it, right? Could probably t trust Jacob to do it right, but then he's going to be stuck in there forever. Like, it would be the obvious choice to let Olivia do it, but I don't know if we can trust her to actually do it. So, we got three choices here, and I'm sure that we're going to get a different ending for each one. And I wish I could save right now so we could go back and see them all. I suppose we could always look up a video. I'm going to give it to Olivia. I don't trust her to do it right, but she's the only one that wants to be stuck in there. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I know I did this, I caused all of this, but it's... This isn't what you think. I'm not too young. I'm not too impulsive. I've lived enough of my life to know what I want. What I want, what I need, is to be with them. They used to tell me at night when I went to bed. We loved each other more than all the stars in the universe. More than the moon herself. And I don't care if it's real or whatever we call real. 
I just want to go home. Olivia, just... Just think about it, please. What about you? You got anything to say? <sighs> what do you guys think? Shake your butt, shake your butt. Oh, I have to confirm it too? Are you sure? Is this your final answer? You're really letting me go? I guess she is. <laughs> Let Why? one rip with that, epi with that echo? <laughs> Maybe she saw in you what I saw in you. You earned it, Olivia. You did. It should be your choice. I don't know that she earned it. She kind of caused this Olivia, whole thing. Turn the portal closed. What? Oh. I'm going to see my mom and dad again. I mean, it's actually going to happen. It's going to actually happen. I did it. Look, Riley, I don't have to say thank you, and we're not hugging. Just be a good mom. To your son. Tell him everything. Whoever he is, whatever happens. I will, Olivia. I want to see all the endings. <gasps> oh, I was just sleeping. It was all a dream. Riley, are you there? Oh, 7 a.m.? Where's the dag? Come in, Riley. Over. Uh. Evelyn? Hey, yeah, w uh, what's going on? Hey, nothing much. This is just the next day check in. Leslie's really happy with the work you did. The transmitters, you know, their placements seem perfect. Negligible scratch. I know it wasn't the most interesting work day, but the, uh, our environmental research staff is going to be psyched when they hear how clear the cuckoos are coming through. The, the bird cuckoos? calls are perfect. Not a lot of interference. Cuckoos? Huh? That's what the study is for. Cuckoos are endangered in Oregon, and this will help track migratory patterns and help us get a sense of their nesting range. Hopefully, get them off the endangered list, if it's warranted. Over. But, Evelyn, don't don't you don't you remember like everything that happened last night? The the, the ghosts, the teenagers, the dead ones, portals, just everything. Uh, no, I don't remember you telling me anything about ghosts or dead teenagers. No. After you went off to study cuckoos, I went home and had dinner with my sister. Maybe you told Leslie, and you're confusing us. Did something happen? Oh, wait, sorry, Riley, uh, before you get into it. Sorry, really quick. We're shuffling projects and need to know before Leslie walks out the door if you'd be willing to sign up for another job next month. You are one of our better researchers. Hell no. And it'd be the same deal, basically. Just planting test equipment. Uh, yeah. Maybe. I'll, um, I'll think about it. Uh, okay. Oh, Give it a thing. these are Sounds the kids good. from the first game. Well, Thanks for everything, Riley. I think you can pick up your check at the campus What? This office. is Al Alex. Alex, where are you going? I don't know why it's there. Give me a but... second. Uh, okay. Sounds good. It was nice to meet you, Evelyn. Take care, okay? Thank you. It was really nice to meet you too, Riley. Have a good rest of your visit. Over and out. The first thing I heard this morning... It's my mom calling up to me from the kitchen to take out the trash. I slept in a little, I guess. Do you hate me? A little. Maybe a little. I probably deserve a bit more than a little. Riley, I may come off to you differently, but I really don't know how any of this stuff works. I 
things are here again, though. You did that. I'm here. My friends are here. All the people of Kamina? None of them have been taken over by the vengeful ghosts of a sunken submarine. And you're here, thinking about Olivia. She got what she thought she wanted. I just hope she's happy with it. She seemed happy. I think we'll have to live with that. Alex, come on, we're gonna be late. Yeah, just give me a minute. Yeah, they don't remember. They're better off, honestly. I'm uh, taking AP English this year. When we went in, I was working on a paper on Dickinson. She said she, um, she never had a mother. That a mother is someone to whom you run when you're in trouble. However you end up with Rex, Riley, you fit the description. Remember that. Oh, crap. I wasn't looking. Right. I'll see you around, Riley. Have a good one. Alex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just had to... Who was that? She's the mom of one of the guys in school. Oh, I'll tell you about it later. Only you would have a mom friend. Jesus. Stop talking to everyone. Sure thing. One of my lights went out. How is it possible that I turned that one on the same time that the other one was cycling through the same color? Oh, maybe I didn't. Okay. Uh, okay. Done. Long night. Expecting weird dreams. Don't know what to say to Jacob. Oh, I don't have the radio anymore. Where do I go? Eva's Got Worms is what the name of the worm store. Sorry about your worms. What is this? Nothing. Well, there's still more uh, collectibles I didn't get. I wonder, wonder where they are. Do we go to Jacob's house? Some dog. Hey, Athena. How are you, girl? <laughs> hey, where are you going? Wait for me, Doug. I think she likes you. She's not usually this friendly. Well, that's a lie. Jacob, hey! Hi! Wow, um, how, how are you? How am I? After what happened? Uh, I think I'm okay. I'm doing okay, at least. Oh, I'm still a little shaky, to say the least. I, I woke up in bed. Just a normal Saturday, right? It, it is Saturday, isn't it? But, uh, phew, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know I'd ever see you again. But here you are. Hey, man, trust me. I'm happy to see you, too. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, no, I, I I, was just... Two minutes ago, I was trying to come to terms with the fact that I might be the only one to remember. Oh. Uh, this is Athena's time to do her uh, business. We, we call it business time. I uh, need to apologize for not offering myself to the portal. I wouldn't have even said anything, but... I knew it was always going to be Olivia. She just needed it. For her, this was never going to end. No need to apologize, Jacob. I understand. Nobody, not even Olivia, wants that. 
And besides, it wasn't your responsibility to have to do that. It shouldn't have been anyone's. Yeah, well, thanks for that. I don't know if I fully believe you, but, um, thanks. So, I think you should call your dad and tell him you're going to be a mom. Yeah. And why that's a good thing. Does she know who the father soon, is? Anyway. The ghost and more interesting. It's true. He is going to have another branch in the family tree. Y you know, we make these little people, and those little people grow up into big people. And along the way, we change. We lose things. We gain things. We form opinions. We have regrets. And we, we, we take all of that stuff and go on making more little people. Time travel really isn't anything compared to all that, is it? I don't know if I'd say that. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You and 73% of players had Olivia enter the portal. Can I turn it on? Alex? Whoa! There's nothing I can do?
You and 19% of players helped Hank. Whoa, never many people helped Hank. Note, Riley, your help made this book possible. I credited you, but don't expect proceeds. Take care, H. Hank. That's the guy that was on the boat. Hank Chapman was born in Canada, but moved to Oregon to study agriculture. Noticing strange and unex uh, unexplicable phenomena around the sleepy towns of the Pacific Northwest, Hank committed his free time to studying the paranormal and how the other side can infiltrate our natural world. Packed with glossy illustrations, exhaustive descriptions, and first-hand accounts, this book reveals the spookiest, the kookiest, and the most exciting places ever, oh, uh, <laughs> exciting places overflowing with souls and evil spirits in Oregon, Washington, and Northern California. It will take you on a tour your mind might not be ca capable of grappling with. Oh, man, I still need to get glasses. Ghosts of the Pacific Northwest. Sasquatch Gallery. Kamina artist Jacob Summers, open for visitors daily. Sasquatch Gallery at Berenson Creek. That's what Jacob's doing now. You and 95% of players saved Shelly's life. Oh, dude, I want to go back and not do these things now and see what happens. You and 11% of players. Charlie, it's Violet. Again. I... I just don't know why we can't talk about what happened. We're the only ones that remember. It's oh. just you and me and Riley, Charlie. And Riley's been good for this. Like, good for this stuff. We talk like once a month, and I know that annoys you, but it's a help just to talk to somebody that went through it too. Olivia, Olivia did what she had to do, and, and I know you liked her or whatever, but I, I don't know. I, I miss my friend. I miss you. I know you miss her. It just, this wasn't a dream. We didn't hallucinate this. It's just important that you know that. Call me, please. So, 11% of players became friends with Violet, but had Olivia enter the portal. A brighter shade of Violet. I wonder if I would have chosen different dialogue options if one of the other kids would have been with me, or maybe more of them. Interesting. Oh! Unlikely friends. Better things ahead. Can't see this one. Bloom and grow, 3%? What, what's that mean? New beginnings. This is not working very well. All the lonely people, 2%. Lonely light of planet shine. I wish these would tell me what, what they mean. A friend found, a friend lost. This is me. Sixty-seven percent of players helped Evelyn return home. Who's Evelyn? Oh, the lady on the radio. Okay. Riley, you're the best. Really couldn't have done the job without you. Like, literally. Hope you're not allergic to peanut butter, Evelyn. Thirty-two percent of people were too busy to help her. Map? What's this about? Oh, the kids with the masks on, maybe? Oh, 
is this the moon? And then this is a half moon. So, that's all of it then. Rex, your mom is a complicated person. Like all of us, like everybody. I used to really not appreciate my stepfather. And there was a time that I hated even the concept of having a stepbrother. Relationships are hard. Even the ones that are supposed to be easy, supposed to be ingrained. I don't really know what I expected to do with all this. But just know that your mom isn't just your mom. She's not just the person who you maybe think failed you. She's a person that has a life, and that life has a lot of branches to it. And she cares about you, Rex. You were the future she didn't want to lose. And no matter what you think of her, remember that. All right, I think that's it. Oh, and the... stay off the radio. A Netflix game studio? Hmm. Uh, they weren't Netflix when they made the first game. Cool. Well, that was awesome. I loved it. I loved the first game, too. Uh, good job. I'm... Excited to be done with it, but I'm sad that it's over. I was so excited when I saw that this came out and I didn't even know about it. And I had to play it as soon as possible, and now it's over. Do we get anything for New Game Plus? No, it doesn't look like it. What if I load this game? So you have to play the entire game again to choose a different ending. I would guess, I mean, that feels like a good ending. Ah, <gasps> uh, okay. It just brings me back here. Oh, collectibles. I missed one, two, three, four. Damn it. All right. Well, yeah, that was really good. I loved it. Uh, I can't wait for them to make something else. There is another game by them that I can't think of the name of that I do have that I made some some videos on a while back. But back at that time, nobody was was watching my YouTube channel, so I just kind of moved on. Uh, wait, maybe I can find it. I think it was on Epic. Ah, uh, shoot. What was it called? I could probably find out in Steam, too. If I just search, uh, Oxen Free. And then, here it is, After Party. Basically runs itself. It was interesting. You're in hell. Uh, the two kids in hell. And you have to, like, go around and make specific, like, mix drinks specifically to get people to do stuff. I never finished it. It's a good idea of something to do eventually. I did that part. Like I didn't already have enough to do to let you know. I did this. I told 
them to outdrink Hell's Monarch first. You know, fight it like over. I did that. Yeah, so here you would make different drinks. Vodka, horse blood, demon radish, a favorite of Alexander the Great. But to even reach those nut jobs, the losers will have to deal with karaoke crowds, the lava swamps, the fanatics from the fourth circle. I mean, these complete idiots really have no idea what they're getting into. I need a drink. Is he talking to us? Yeah, I'll have to play that eventually. Just be something I'll have to... There, it's like Oxenfree 2 and Life is Strange True Colors. <laughs> Alright. Is ESO free on here? Yeah, it is. Let's get this one. All right, I got about 15 minutes left, so I was just going to look for something that I can screw around on for a little bit. Elder Scrolls Online is free on Epic right now. I already have it on PlayStation and Steam, so I guess I got it here too. Perfect. The Scrolls 4 Oblivion and the Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim. The Elder Scrolls Online lets you take part in a story set within the The quality of the epic trailers is so bad. Elder Scrolls franchise. It's like 360p. Designed to be played exactly the way you want to play. You can start wherever you like. With no level restrictions and no subscription required. This massive world is yours to explore alone. So it's kind of like it's an MMO, but it has like an Elder Scrolls skin on it, I, I would I would say. All right, what do I have installed here? What can I screw around on for a little bit? Oh. Oh, wait, I got another demo. Let's look at this. I haven't, I have not even... I have not even opened this game yet. Malik, what's going on? You just missed the end of the game. <laughs> and I'm just, uh, this is a demo that I got, or actually it's a prologue that I got for free. And I was looking for something to just kill time for the rest of the stream. Volume, let's try 28%. Let's try 10%. There we go. V-Sync. V-Sync level? I've never seen that before. Fall of Porcupine. Let's change the title real quick. It has 42 viewers right now. Well, you can always go back and watch it. They'll be coming out on YouTube, too, if you're even interested. I thought it was fantastic. Amazing. Oxenfree games are awesome. Uh, the first one was on sale. It was like $3. Hi. But it's $10 now. I'm only getting 15 FPS. Maybe I turned VSync up too high. Whoops, I didn't even read that. Hope will... Okay. Today, I want to update you on what's going on in Porcupine. Again, I was on the road for you this week and ran into a lot of old familiar faces. Among other things, I stopped by Gilbert's this week and sampled Giu Giu Giuliano's, Giuliano's latest creation, Wild Gooseberry Beer. Highly recommended for fans of fruity drinks. It's more for holidays, though. But feel free to give it a try. I love this time of year, and you can probably guess why. Wait, can I turn on the microphone or something? No. 
The hibernation festival is right around the corner. The preparations have already begun and I talked to the organizer. Some popular bands will be on the bill and local arts will be represented as well. Plus, of course, there's the big stew contest again. I remember last year, Chloe Colbert took first place with her sage soup. Bring your biggest spoon and try your way through. There are a lot of highlights again this year. Take a few days off and stop by. Unfortunately, this is the time of year when the days are getting shorter again. Today I had to put a sweater, put on a sweater for the first time. Crazy. Yesterday it felt like summer after all. But I guess that's how it is with the seasons. You get used to the sun too quickly. Not me. I hate the summer. <laughs> Excellent. A good day always starts with being late. And without Dr. Krakowski busting your chops. Or a busted coffee machine that doesn't even get warm. Anyways, I gotta run. Can I... St. Ursula tasks? Find a way through the construction site. I want to change the settings. <laughs> no tasks. Oh, quick game? No. Oh, that's me. Do I not have settings or anything? God, what the hell? You late too? Nope. I'm just here to show how dialogues work in Fall of Porcupine. I see. Thanks a lot. No problem. Later, guy. I can't escape. 15 FPS. Like, I think I turned the V-Sync up too high. Why can't I... Why? Why do you hate me? Oh, it looks so bad. Ah, uh, damn it. Here, let's try this. Sister let me have her laptop, didn't need it, so now I have an additional 500 gigabytes of storage. <laughs> V-Sync level one? Okay, that's 30. That's 15. Off is 59. One is 60. Perfect. Well, cool. You could use that to put like pictures and videos and crap like that. Oh, so much better. Blah, 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 blah. Bye-bye. Oh, so much better. <laughs> Woohoo. Oh, I float. Okay. Wee. One, two... Press and hold the glide. Okay. I don't remember what this game is about. <laughs> Someone there? Rudolph, you hear something too? What you say? Guess the last beer yesterday had already expired. Make a pot of coffee. 
I got a hangover. <laughs> that stop most probably won't see any buses today. You got the day off. Bus stop. Enjoy your day. Bus stop got the day off. St. Ursula Hospital. You howl? We heal? That slogan ain't half bad. Who was this? Who, who was that hat? Wearing giant. Oh. Wait a moment. Oh. Are these chalk dogs? Last time I ate those, I was a kid. Good morning, Ingrid. You've been working here two weeks and already you're late. That's not gonna cut it, kid. Yes, nice to see you too. Save yourself the trouble. Bad day? bad my coffee machine is full of mold and the snack machine ate all my change quite sassy what's up with the snack machine any news did something happen last night there's a construction site outside the hospital who knows it was working last night old Gregor's probably been tampering with it again would you mind taking a look at it? You seem skilled. Didn't you just say I was late? Priorities, kid. You know my blood sugar is shockingly low. By helping me, you're helping the entire hospital. I'm on it. Is that this one? This machine's dead. Fortunately, there's nothing we can do for it. Time of death, we've talked We've talked to its family. Before it passed away, it signed a snack donor card. I will do my duty as a doctor. Thank you, machine. Thanks for your sacrifice. Others can now satisfy their sugar cravings. Is that a coffee cream prickle? Just for you, fresh from the machine. You just saved my life, kid. What was it you wanted to know? What's new? Oh, that's right. The cafeteria's closed today. Dr. Halil allegedly tried to heat up his mi microbiotic instant meal in surges stone oven <laughs> such a mess I hope you've made yourself a sandwich today and two new patients were putting on the ward last night were put on the ward one of them has a nasty rash a mean case of shingles if you ask me the other one was barely able to walk suspected urinary stones but I think he's well on his way to renal colic. We kept both of them here for now. I'm sure you'll meet them today. The things you know, Ingrid. I've been here for 30 years, my dear. Now, let me enjoy this creamy coffee deliciousness. What are you still doing here? Hurry to the third floor. Otherwise, Dr. Krakowski will give you hell. Oh, the elevator's broken. Again. Don't even bother trying it. Got it. See you later. Yeah, whatever. 
Hmm. Suspicious. Listen, trash can. I don't trust you. I got my eye on you. The elevator's broken. Again. It often bugs me that I can't... That I don't own a car. But at least I've got toned legs now. Gregor will curse pretty hard if he has to fix this thing again. Cafeteria is closed again. I don't even ask why anymore. But I don't mean to complain. Everyone in this hospital does their best. The door is closed. The sign says main storage room. That's the janitor's room. Hello, Mr. Glendower, are you there? Leave me alone. I'm taking a break right now. Oh. Oh, I just went outside. The ambulance has probably seen better days too. I think even the equipment at my Alma Mater was more modern than this and even that could be described as antique well as long as it's still running you don't have to retire it yet I kind of like that old jalopy wow either this is the reason for the closed cafeteria or the surgeon's been busy How do I go up? Oh. This is the chief of medicine's office in the hospital's administration. Hey. This is our surgical ward. You can also use the laptop to, like, lay in bed and watch Twitch. <laughs> if you're the other one, you got to sit at, uh, at a desk or something. Where am I supposed to be going? Here's the storage room for our ward. Most of the time, it's empty. That's why we get the drugs and materials from the main storage room on the ground floor. Getting an adapter so I can use my other monitor for that. Ooh. This is the best, this is the way to the break room. There have been days when I haven't set foot in this room once. Why is there a break room at all if there are hardly any breaks? I bought a book, but my brother showed me a good ass website to read it for free. I refunded my book. <laughs> it's sad for the room to not be used at all. Well, there's apps that uh, like Libby, if you just have a library card, you can check out books like audiobooks and also not audiobooks. You can get them on your phone and listen to them for free from the library. I'm glad you made it before it got dark. Sorry about that, Dr. Krakowski. I asked the patients not to die until you arrived. They might not be so generous next time. I'll be more punctual in the future. Not more punctual, just punctual. Just punctual. Well, all right. Let's start the rounds. Time waits for no one. We'll start with room 301. 
This is where our rosters are posted in the cleaning schedule. Really? What's the app called? Uh, the one that I use is called Libby, L-I-B-B-Y. And someone apparently wants to sell a bike. I might take a look at that bike. But there's other ones too that I don't know. Bink. <laughs> Wait for me. This is Mr. Kissinger. He was admitted last night with a high fever. He's abs also suffering from severe pain on the right side of his body and an acute rash. How are we feeling today, Mr. Kissinger? Uh, is that a cat? Good so far, Dr. Krakowski. I had a rough night and I'm hungry. Well, that sounds perfect. I would have been worried if you slept well here. Mia? Yes. <laughs> what do you think? What do I think? Your diagnosis? I see. Yeah, sure. I... Help Mia answer yourself. Do nothing. Psst, Mia. Huh? Shingles. What? Shh. Eh. Mm. Goals. It could be herpes, Zoster. A very pronounced case of shingles. Not could be. It is. You're right. I'd be lying if I said I expected that to happen. Let's not waste any more time. Get well soon, Mr. Kissinger. But I forgot the voice. Thanks. Wait. Thanks. <laughs> We still have two more patients to visit in room 302. Let's go. The day is almost over already. Hello. Follow the doctor to room 302. Beat ya. Don't even know what to use the 500 for. Well, it's good for like having a lot of games downloaded, but then you got to play them on that one. <laughs> good morning, Mrs. Kasparis. Good morning. Are the painkillers working? Yes, thank God. That was one hell of a pain. Mrs. Kasparis came to us yesterday evening with severe pain in her lower abdomen. She has vomited a few times. Urinating is also difficult. But finally, Finley, you're very quiet. Delight us with your beautiful voice. What is our patient suffering from? Could be urinary stones. It's obviously renal colic. Please take Mia's turn. Stones. Honestly, you might take the time to make it my OS drive need to transfer my shit over correct last night exams were able to confirm urinary calculus we suspect that renal colic has already occurred more tests will be conducted this morning however we will probably have to remove the urinary stones surgically and clean diagnosis a little cure cautious but not wrong. Mrs. Kasparis, I wish you a quick recovery. Call the nurse staff if you need anything. Thank you so much, Dr. Kalkowski. Follow me. Last patient, last chance. You just use it as an external hard drive? Good morning, Mrs. Amit. How are you today? Just a moment. What's this? Your dressing is soaking wet. When was the last time I was changed? Yesterday. I think yesterday at midday. Midday yesterday? Finley, change the dressing now.
My sternal, I like our USB drives. Treatment, take care of your patient. Press and hold the show buttons, shown buttons. Do not press other buttons or more buttons than displayed. Try to react as fast as possible. Okay, here we go. M? Is this a typing game? Do I have to hold it? Oh. Oh. W. N. L. C. U. Z. Am I doing this wrong? Treatment complete. Okay. Who was on duty yesterday? I, me. I was thinking I was going to change it. The storage room up here was empty. I, I was going to the basement to get a new dressing. And then you forgot about it? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I don't tolerate such sloppiness on this ward. Dr. Krakowski, it was probably just an oversight. Finley, you stay out of this. Get a grip, Mia. You're not going to get far if changing a simple dressing flusters you like that. <laughs> Dr. Krakowski, let's not get so worked up. <laughs> you know yourself. How you how stressful it is. <laughs> We're also constantly understaffed in nursing. These two are new. They need to get warmed up first. That's no excuse. I don't want to see a mistake like that again. And what are you doing here anyway? This ward's storage room is empty again. Just do your job and take care of it. These rounds are over. Thanks. <laughs> I need to become a member. Oh. Subscriber. Oh yeah, I didn't run the ad because I'm I'm done with this. I just wanted to try it out. Official! What's going on? I'm I'm finishing up right now. <laughs> and a goat came in. <laughs> I have voices for the doctor. And the cow. <laughs> uh, I This was just a free prologue that I got for free. And I just wanted to see what it was. Try your hardest, Finley. I'm doing the best I can. If that's your best, then woe to this hospital. That's exactly what that guy would say. No tasks. Okay. Are we done? <laughs> hey, Carl. It was great of you to stand up for Mia just now. No problem. Why are you standing here? I'm waiting for the damn elevator. It's broken. Again? <laughs> great. What are you up to? I have to go to the main storage room on the ground floor. You heard what Krakowski said. <laughs> so hard to do. <laughs> the ward storage room is em empty again. I gotta get supplies. Need help? I sure won't say no. No, but I can help you with the carrying. Let's not waste any time. <laughs> We'll take the stairs unless they're broken now as well. <laughs> what could be broken about a staircase? You have no idea, kid. <laughs> uh. Did pretty good. It was a long day, though. How many accounts do you have? <laughs> Orange, pink, orange, pink, ink. Too many accounts. Love the voices. 
You should have heard the cow. <laughs> if you guys don't have Elder Scrolls Online, it's free. I just I just got it. Well, I have it, but I just got it again. On Epic. Well, that's it. I was just looking to kill like the last 15 minutes, and now it's been a half hour. So, uh. So, yeah, Elder Scrolls Online is basically, it's like an MMO with the Elder Scrolls skin on it. I don't know if I'd say it's bad. I, I am not the one to ask because MMOs are not my thing. But if I was going to play one, that would be the one I would play. So, if everybody wants to that wants to play it goes and gets it for free, then we can play it. M massively multiplayer online like World of Warcraft or stuff like that or MMORPG massive multiplayer online role playing game um, but I would be interested in playing it sometime if, if you guys pick it up not my kind of game me neither I I tried it like when Will was born. I took my PlayStation to the hospital so I could play it. But I, I've i never been much for MMOs like World of Warcraft type stuff. Um, but I do love Elder Scrolls. So I was like, cool, I'll give this a try. And it's fine. But I was playing it by myself. If I had other people, it'd probably be more fun. Boom, got Prime. In the middle of an ad. <laughs> was around my PlayStation. I just took it to the hospital so I could play it while Will was being born. <laughs> Never knew you took your PlayStation to the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> I hooked it up to their TV in the room. While Will was being born. Yeah, he was being born and I was just sitting there playing games. No, we had to sit in the hospital for hours. So I was just playing it while we were just stuck in a hospital room. I'm like, good job. Ooh, a legendary. <laughs> good job, Laura. Push. You want to go? You want to go raid this cave? Dungeon? Well, you missed the end of Oxen Free. It was awesome. I love it. But tomorrow. Let's take a sneak peek here. Here, let me uninstall Oxenfree. Oh, I played that Don't Die in the West last night. Um, it was interesting. It's one to four player, but it's like request access. So I don't know if the multiplayer works at the moment. It was fine. I'd play it again if I could play it with some people. Where's the game I'm looking for? Oh, did I not download it? I didn't download it. This is what we're doing tomorrow. That's kind of a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> a bow and arrow, Elder Scrolls might be that bad. Well, you see, it's not like Skyrim bow and arrow or fighting where you can actually block and slash and block or dual wield or you can aim the bow it's just whatever weapon you pick you just shoot shoot you just click the button and it shoots it's not as it's not as good as skyrim uh i would play it though i'm gonna get uh game of life 2 when i get paid i do have that right i'm very sure i do yeah game of life 2 yeah, we should play that for sure. How many people can play? Um, Cross-platform. Join your friends and family, whether you're on PS4, PS5, PC, 
Nintendo Switch, iOS, or Android. Play together seamlessly on multiple consoles and platforms. It doesn't say how many people, but I'm assuming it's at least four, right? Rated T, T for Teen. Infinite arrow hack. Takes a while, but you can harvest the guards training arrows <laughs> in solitude. Oh, perfect. Game of Life 2, I think I'll just watch. I've got time to get infinite arrows. They are not top class arrows. Yeah, they're probably just like iron arrows or something. All right, this is what we're doing tomorrow. I'm excited. I want to play it right now. your name Carrie good good Carrie listen to me we're gonna get you out of there infinite Folks, child Carrie glitch <laughs> we've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight this is cool I don't think I've seen this so we're actually like running stuff we got to put the record on we got to push the buttons we've got a, a little bit like not for broadcast Gallows Creek tonight for now here's another hit record for you all to infinite kidnapping glitch <laughs> The Whistling Man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Story is, he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. Mannequin. I'm lost, Forrest. I don't know where I am. His face is lying next to him, Forrest. Where's the key? The, the roof. It's coming down. Dude, this looks so good. It looks so fun. I'm gonna die. Call Jericho. I'm well, gonna die. Into this mess. <laughs> hey, big yes. shot. Hit the button and take the call. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. You know, you know, I never finished not for broadcast. Rated T for T. I've still never finished that game. My game wouldn't let the kids leave my house. Then other kids started coming in, but they couldn't get out either. <laughs> We found Jericho. Oh, I was thinking earlier, that's a, a good show too. Jericho, I think we watched it on Netflix. It's about this small town, and then they see the nukes. And then they kind of have to survive and stuff. This is like Life is Strange 3 Steph's story. Where she was in the music studio. Oh, yeah. A little bit, what the but hell? you can get up and walk around too. Like not for broadcast, you're stuck the whistling right at the desk. He was a serial killer back in the fifties. Went around in a freaky mask. Killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. Hit the button. We have a caller. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Forrest Nash. Talk to me, Murphy. What's wrong? Oh, the killer got me, man. We've got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. We'll need someone on the roof. It's going to be a hard climb. Heather's got this. Focus, you got this. Thank you, Forrest. Go right. I'm out. Thank you, oh. Forrest. I got to help a guy go through the maze. This looks super fun. I want to play it right now. Uh, what is it that I'm getting demonetized for? I'm not. Um, I was just, I heard that today. Uh, for you guys that just came in, I heard that on YouTube, uh, streamers are getting demonetized for showing the chat on the screen because a lot of chatters uh, say some pretty bad stuff. I don't, I'm not afraid of what you guys are going to say. See, I'll throw it up right now. Um, I don't think you guys are going to do anything, but just kind of keep that in mind that if you say anything like super bad or racial or LGBTQ slurs or anything like that, um, I'll probably get demonetized for it. But I'm not anymore. Now it's just like songs 
And actually, I'm getting like some old ones. Like old videos, old streams from when I was streaming on YouTube. I'll get a random copyright claim. But I'm not really getting the the demonetized thing anymore where I have to request a review. There was a while where I had to do that to every stream. Like when me and Will were playing Slime Rancher 2, I got demonetized on that one, you know, but I had to have them review it. And then sometimes they let it go. Sometimes they, or they release it. Sometimes they don't. Yeah, I'm not anymore. They, it seems like they, they really started cracking down on stuff for, for a few months there, and now they've kind of backed off a little bit. It's not the streamer's fault of what the chatter say. No. Let me say the most racist, homophobic, transphobic, sexist comment you ever. Yeah, and that's what that's what a lot like. Imagine Hassan with forty thousand viewers, and he's got the chat on the screen. You know, like imagine what at least a quarter of those are going to be that stuff, right? <laughs> but. Cool. Well, I am going to grab a snack and I'm going to go to bed and I will be back tomorrow around normal time, maybe a little bit early if I can. And we're going to play Killer Frequency. How long is this supposed to be? Killer Frequency... Main story, four and a half hours. Main plus extra, five. Completionist, eight. So it'll probably take me eight to ten hours. I used to go by the middle number, main story plus extra, and now I'm finding that I'm like double the middle number. See everyone later. All right. Yep, have a good night. Now that everybody's here and we're chatting, I got to go. <laughs> I'd love to just sit here and, and talk, but I have this stupid thing I got to do called work tomorrow. Ooh, I got a new computer and um, uh, a color camera and stuff at work in the mixing room. They just put it in today. They got to finish it tomorrow. All right, well, thanks so much for coming to hang out with me, everybody. I really do appreciate it. If you're interested in the ending to Oxenfree, the VOD will be up on Twitch. Uh, they will all come out on YouTube fairly soon. I have them all scheduled, so um, you can see that if you're interested. If you enjoyed the stream and you haven't already, make sure you follow, turn on notifications, and if you'd like to support the channel, not see any ads, and you could also join my private Satisfactory server that I just played on yesterday. Uh, and come play with us. You can subscribe for $5 or for free with the Twitch Prime. If you or someone you know has an Amazon Prime account, you can connect it to your Twitch account and get one free Prime subscription per month. You can choose to use it here, or you got to be lucky and get gifted a sub. Or you can do what some people do and make a new account, a new Amazon Prime account every month because you get a free trial, and you can put that on your Twitch, and then you'll get a free, uh, a free sub. Uh, when it's absent only, then will you appreciate your job? Or some shit like that. I, I kind of like painting, but there's so much stuff that can go wrong with it. Like, like that, that Willie's that I painted the back of the other day and it was a hundred degrees. It was perfect after I painted it. And when I came in the next day, there was solvent pop all over it, which is when it's too hot, the clear will get this skin over it before it's all the way dried underneath. And the solvents are trying to escape. So it'll kind of like pop and it looks like there's a whole bunch of pimples, a whole bunch of tiny craters all over it. So I had to sand all those out and it was just because it was too hot that day. I should have waited till the morning to do it. And I thought about it, but I was like, nah, it's just a little part of it. It's directly over the grate where the air is flowing. It should be fine, but it wasn't. So like anything could go wrong. And then I got to repaint and spend a whole bunch of hours fixing it. And that's how I lose my bonus if stuff like that happens. But cool. Have a good night, everybody. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to play Killer Frequency. And then when you guys are ready, we can switch over to Outlast Trials or whatever we decide we want to do. Um, yeah, it's not my fault, but it kind of is. 
I used a slower reducer, which I could have used an even slower one. I could have waited till the morning. It's not my fault, but there's stuff I could have done to help it not happen, but it may have happened anyway. It's the sun. Stop the sun from being hot. But yeah, Killer Frequency, then Outlast Trials and or any other multiplayer game we decide we want to do. Um, and I'll talk to you then. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Later, guys. Rated T for teen. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You stay with me, kid. Focus. I can't do this. Tell me. What's your name? Carrie. Good, good. Carrie, listen to me. We're going to get you out of there. Folks, you heard it here. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. The Whistling Man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Story is, he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. I'm lost, Forrest. I don't know where I am. His face is lying next to him, Forrest. Where is he? The roof! It's coming down! I need someone here now or I'm gonna die! Call Jericho. How the hell did I get into this mess? Hey, Big Shot, hit the button and take the call.